in this video, we are going to be learning how to port forward using SSH. But first, let's understand what port forwarding is. Suppose if you want to run your local host website or server over the internet, you need to forward your port. By forwarding the port, other devices can access your website over the internet. You do not need to host your website on any hosting platform. So that's what we are going to be learning in this video. We are going to be learning how to port forward our local service or website so that it is accessible over the internet. Hackers might use port forwarding to create a fake website that will be accessible over the internet while developers might use port forwarding to securely access and test services on a remote server. So let's learn how to do this on our Kali Linux. So I'm in my Kali Linux right now and I want my Apache 2 web server to be accessible over the internet. So I will open my terminal and type the command sudo systemctl start apache2 and the apache2 web server will be started i can check the status of the service with the command sudo systemctl status apache2 and i can see it is active and running i can check too with my browser so i'll open my firefox and type localhost and i can confirm my apache2 web server is running but it is running on my local host this web server cannot be accessed from the internet or from a different network so now let's port forward so that we can access this web server over the internet i'll go back to my terminal and type ssh space dash capital r for remote port forwarding space port 80 of the remote port colon localhost colon port 80 of my local port space servio.net servio.net is a port forwarding service with this command when the request is made to port 80 of servio.net the request will be forwarded to my local host port 80 because by default apache 2 runs on port 80 so now if i press enter i can see i get the url now anyone over the internet can access my web server with this url and i'm using the servio.net service because you do not have to do any online registration or sign up now if i go to this link i can confirm i can access the web server over the internet if you want to use your custom domain then type ssh space dash r the domain that you want to choose colon the rest of the command and press enter and i can see a new url has been created anyone with this url can access my web server now let's create a website and make it accessible over the internet but before we do that if you want to get comfortable with the kali linux terminal commands then click the first link in the description box and you will get the complete kali linux cheat sheet for beginners this cheat sheet has all the commands that you need to become comfortable with the terminal so if you get stuck you can quickly refer to this cheat sheet so click the first link in the description box to get this cheat sheet now to make our website accessible over the internet i will change to the var www html directory inside this directory i have updated the index.html file which will display a picture of a cat i will now restart my apache 2 web server and if i open my browser and go to localhost i can see my website now let's make this website accessible over the internet so i will give the ssh port forwarding command again and i can see i get the url and from a different network as you can see i can access my website so that is for the end of the video if you like this video and want to watch more content related to kali linux or ethical hacking please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching